हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू इन लेक्चर नंबर फोर ऑन आइगन वैल्यूज एंड आइगन वेक्टर्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस हाउ टू फाइंड आउट आइगन वैल्यूज ऑफ पावर्स ऑफ ए स्क्वायर मैट्रिक्स इफ के इज एनी पॉजिटिव इंटीजर एंड इफ वी नो द आइगन वैल्यूज ऑफ ए देन हाउ टू फाइंड आउट आइगन वैल्यूज ऑफ केथ पावर ऑफ गिवन मैट्रिक्स so let us discuss this result suppose k is positive integer and lambda is an eigen value of a matrix capital a and x is a corresponding eigen vector then lambda raised to k is an eigen value of a raised to k and x is a corresponding eigen vector so this means if lambda is an eigen value of a then lambda raised to k is an eigen value of a raised to k and eigen vectors remains as it is if x is an eigen vector corresponding to eigen value lambda then x is also the eigen vector corresponding to eigen value lambda raised to k so eigen vectors of a and a raised to k are same but eigen values are different if eigen value of a is lambda then lambda raised to k is an eigen value of a raised to k so we consider one example we are given this matrix capital a and we are asked to find out eigen values and eigen vectors of seventh power of a so first we find out eigen values and eigen vectors of given matrix and then using this result Uh, we can find out eigen values and eigen vectors of a raised to 7 so as we know to find out eigen values uh, we have to solve the characteristic equation of this matrix so we start by writing characteristic equation of given matrix which is determinant of a minus lambda i equal to 0 and this we can a uh, determinant of a minus lambda i is the determinant obtained by subtracting lambda from the diagonal and keeping other entries as it is so diagonal will be minus lambda 2 minus lambda and 3 minus lambda and other entries remains as it is now we expand this determinant we start with the first row so we consider minus lambda and we consider this 2 by 2 determinant minus lambda in the product determinant of this 2 by 2 square matrix which is 2 minus lambda into 3 minus lambda minus 0 similarly we consider min this is 0 and last entry is minus 2 so we consider minus 2 times determinant of this matrix which is 0 minus 2 minus lambda equal to 0 so now we rewrite this in this form now there are two terms in the addition so we can see 2 minus lambda is common factor so we can take 2 minus lambda outside and we multiply minus lambda with 3 minus lambda which is minus 3 lambda plus lambda square plus 2 equal to 0 so this we can rewrite as lambda square minus 3 lambda Plus two equal to zero, and two minus lambda equal to zero. So from this we have lambda equal to two as one eigen value, and we we can factorize this by writing minus three lambda as minus two lambda minus lambda, and here we take lambda common. Here we take minus one common. Now lambda minus two is common here, so. This is equal to lambda minus two times lambda minus one equal to zero, which gives lambda equal to one and two. So there are three eigen values, but two is repeated eigen values. So there are two distinct eigen values because two is repeated eigen value. So eigen values of given matrix are lambda equal to one, two, two. Now we find out eigen vectors. by the definition x equal to x1 x2 x3 which is a 
वेक्टर इन आर थ्री इज एन आइगन वेक्टर ऑफ ए कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग टू लेमडा इफ एक्स इज ए नॉन ट्रिवल सॉल्यूशन ऑफ दिस सिस्टम ए माइनस लेमडा आई एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो वेर आई इज एन आइडेंटिटी मैट्रिक्स ऑफ ऑर्डर थ्री एंड वी हैव दिस ए माइनस लेमडा मैट्रिक्स ए माइनस लेमडा विच इज ऑप्टेन बाय सब्सट्रक्टिंग लेमडा फ्रॉम द मेन डायगोनल ऑफ गिवन मैट्रिक्स कैपिटल ए सो वी मल्टीप्लाई दिस टू एंड वी इक्वेट विथ जीरो वैक्टर so we can see uh, first we consider first row into first column there is only one column here so lambda into x1 plus 2x2 equal to 2x3 equal to 0 because second component is zero here so lambda into x1 plus 0 into x2 plus 2x3 equal to 0 so first equation which we have written here second equation is second row into this column which is minus x1 plus lambda minus 2 times x2 minus x3 equal to 0 which we have written here and third row into this column so minus x1 plus 0 into x2 plus lambda minus 3 times x3 equal to 0 so this is this system of linear equations in 3 variables x1 x2 x3 and one unknown which is eigen value lambda now we are having eigen values lambda equal to 1 2 2 are eigen values of given matrix so we will solve this system for lambda equal to 1 and 2 separately so first we solve this system for lambda equal to 1 so if we put lambda equal to 1 now we have x1 plus 2x3 equal to zero. Here we have minus x1 minus x2 minus x3 equal to zero. And last equation is minus x1 and this is minus 2x3 equal to zero. Now if you observe, first and last equations are same, and this we can rewrite as x1 plus x2 plus x3 equal to zero. so we have homogeneous system of two linear equations in three variables so we try to solve this system by gauss elimination so first we write down augmented matrix first column corresponds to coefficients of x1 then x2 and x3 coefficients of x1 are 1 and 1 there is no x2 in the first equation so coefficient of x2 is 0 here coefficient of x2 is 1 similarly coefficients of x3 are 2 and 1 and right hand side is 0 so we have to convert this matrix in row equivalent form so we start with the first non zero entry of first row so we must have this entry 0 so to make this entry 0 we multiply first row by minus 1 and add in second row so we can see we have minus 1 plus 1 which is 0 0 into minus 1 0 plus 1 which is 1 2 into minus 1 which is minus 2 plus 1 minus 1 and here 0 so this is in row equivalent form now we can see these are the first non zero entries of first and second row and they correspond to x1 and x2 so that means x1 and x2 are leading variables because x1 and x2 corresponds to first non zero entries of first and second row and x3 becomes free variable so to write down infinite number of solutions uh, we have to express x1 and x2 in terms of x3 so first we write down the system corresponding to this row equivalent form which is 1 into x1 x1 plus 0 x2 plus 2 x3 equal to 0 that is x1 plus 2 x3 equal to 0 second equation is 0 x1 plus x2 minus x3 equal to 0 that means x2 minus x3 equal to 0 now in these two equations x1 x2 are leading and x3 is free variable so we have to write x1 and x2 in terms of 
x3. So from first equation we write x1 equal to minus 2 x3. From second equation we have x2 equal to x3. So now we can write down the eigenvectors. x is x1, x2, x3. Here x3 is free variable. So we keep x3 as it is and we put values of x1 and x2 in terms of x3. Now this we can rewrite as x3 times minus 2, 1, 1. x3 is free variable so we can have any value for x3. So for different values of x3 we will have different eigenvectors. So all the eigenvectors corresponding to lambda equal to 1 are nothing but scalar multiple of this linearly independent eigenvector which is minus 2, 1, 1. So these are the eigenvectors of given matrix corresponding to eigenvalue lambda equal to 1. Now we find out eigenvectors corresponding to eigenvalue lambda equal to 2. So for that we have to go back, we put value of lambda in system 1. So here we put lambda equal to 2. So for lambda equal to 2, we have first equation is 2x1 plus x3 equal to 0. Second equation is minus x1 minus x3 equal to 0 because this becomes 0 for lambda equal to 2 and this becomes minus 1 for lambda equal to 2. So this is minus x1 minus x3 equal to 0. So if you observe all the equations are same, we can write as x1 plus x3 equal to 0. So for lambda equal to 2, we obtain this equation x1 plus x3 equal to 0. So this means either we can represent x1 in terms of x3 or x3 in terms of x1. If we write x1 in terms of x3, then x3 becomes free variable. We can take any value for x3. And in this system, we have no restriction on variable x2. So x2 is also free variable. We can take any value for x2. So here x3 and x2 both are free variables and x1 is represented in terms of free variable x3. So therefore eigenvectors are now we write x1 equal to minus x3 and we keep x2 and x3 as it is because they are free variables. So there are two free variables here. Now this vector we can rewrite as sum of these two vectors. Now we can verify if we add first entries we have 0 minus x3 which is minus x3 x2 plus 0 is x2 and x3 plus 0 is x3. So here uh, I have written these uh, two vectors in this way. Here I keep x2 as it is and I put 0 if there is no x2 in the component. In first component there is no x2 so I put 0 here. In third component there is no x2 so I put 0 here and I keep x2 as it is. To write down this vector, I consider 0 if there is no x3 in the component. So in second component there is no x3. So here I have written 0 and I keep these two as it is. Now in the first vector, uh, we can write first vector as multiple of x2. If we take x2 outside, we can write this as 0, 1, 0. x2 times 0, 1, 0. Same thing. From the second vector, we take x3 outside and we can rewrite it as x3 times minus 1, 0 and 1. So therefore, these are the eigenvectors corresponding to eigenvalue lambda equal to 2, where x2 and x3 are free variables they can take any value. So in this case, we can see eigenvectors are linear combination of two independent vectors 0, 1, 0 and 
माइनस वन जीरो वन इन इन अर्लियर केसेस आइगन वैक्टर्स वेर मल्टीपल ऑफ ऑनली वन वैक्टर हियर आइगन वैक्टर्स आर मल्टीपल ऑफ लीनियर आइगन वैक्टर्स आर लीनियर कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ टू लीनियरली इंडिपेंडेंट आइगन वैक्टर्स सो नाउ वी कैन राइट दैट दिस एक्स इक्वल टू दिस आर नथिंग बट आइगन वैक्टर्स कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग टू आइगन वैल्यू लैमड़ा इक्वल टू टू एंड दे आर रिटर्न एज ए लीनियर कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ टू लीनियरली इंडिपेंडेंट आइगन वैक्टर्स सो देर फॉर दिस एक्स इक्वल टू एक्स टू टाइम्स जीरो वन जीरो प्लस एक्स थ्री टाइम्स माइनस वन जीरो आर आइगन वैक्टर्स ऑफ मैट्रिक्स ए फॉर लैमड़ा इक्वल टू टू Now we are asked to find out eigen values and eigen vectors of matrix A raised to seven. So eigen values of matrix A are one and two, and therefore eigen values of A raised to seven will be one raised to seven, two raised to seven. So that we have written here eigen values of A are lambda equal to one and lambda equal to two. therefore eigen values of a raised to 7 are 7th power of these two eigen values which is 1 raised to 7 equal to 1 and 2 raised to 7 equal to 128 now and eigen vectors remains as it is if x is an eigen vector corresponding to matrix a if x is an eigen vector corresponding to eigen value lambda then the same eigen vector is corresponding to eigen value lambda raised to k so eigen vectors does not change they remain as it is so whatever eigen vectors we have corresponding to lambda equal to 1 and 2 we will have the same eigen vectors of a raised to 7 corresponding to lambda raised to 7 that is 1 and 128 so that we have written here Uh, we have shown that this is the eigen vector corresponding to eigen value lambda equal to one. Therefore, we have the same eigen vector of a raised to seven corresponding to the eigen value one raised to seven, which is one. So, eigen vectors do not change. This eigen vector is of matrix a so that same eigen vector is of matrix a raised to 7 corresponding to lambda raised to 7 which is 1 similarly we have find out this eigen vector corresponding to eigen value lambda equal to 2 so therefore we have same eigen vector of a raised to 7 corresponding to lambda equal to 2 raised to 7 which is 128 okay, so this is all about today's session in this session we have discussed that if lambda is an eigen value of square matrix a then lambda raised to k is an eigen value of kth power of this matrix a where k is natural number and if x is an eigen vector corresponding to eigen value lambda then x is also an eigen vector of a raised to k corresponding to lambda raised to k so i hope you like this lecture thank you very much